All right, these are the first bands of potential hurricane cyclone Debbie coming into Orlando slash Groveland, Florida. Let the fun begin. You guys are going to see how Florida or Floridians prep for a hurricane. Without any further ado, let the fun begin and let the drinking begin. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey yo! As this first band of weather comes in, the winds are starting to kick up a little bit here. It's not going to exactly be anything crazy here. We're just expected to get a lot of rain and the uh, possibility of some uh, tornadoes. But let's uh, enjoy this. And I'll tell you this, the one good thing about having storms this time of year is they start to uh, cool down the weather here. But once they leave, the heat and humidity come right back. You can see the wind's kicking up. But uh, here, forget about it. Let's uh, enjoy some bourbon as the storm starts to arrive. Today is hurricane prep day. Uh, we have a possible hurricane developing in the Gulf of Mexico. And the potential name is going to be Debbie. And here in Central Florida, we're projected to have a heightened risk of tornadoes and of flooding rains. Now here in Florida, this is nothing new. We are trained professionals when it comes to hurricane preparedness. And there's only two things that a true Floridian is afraid of that may happen during a storm like this. The first thing is you have no power and then you have no air conditioning. I'll tell you this. My air conditioning went out just a week ago, and it is not fun living in Florida if you have no air conditioning. Forget about it. I'm going to tell you that. It's a fact, Jack. The other thing is, is here in Florida, we're afraid of running out of liquor or beer or wine. There's something called hurricane parties, and that's where you just drink your worries away. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I've done it multiple times. The last time I did it was Hurricane Ian that came through here. I sat on my patio here, and during the height of the storm, I was just drinking wine like it was nothing. Had a couple bottles. The wife didn't exactly agree with it, but uh, who cares, you know? At, at that point, you know, you're just, you know, enjoying the storm. So, what we're gonna do is gonna go over our Michter's products here. I've got the four budget bourbons of Michter's here. I've got the Sour Mash, I have the Straight Rye, the American Whiskey, and I have the Small Batch. I've only tasted the Small Batch. This Small Batch I had in the Orlando airport when I was going to Fortaleza, Brazil, and I was very impressed with this Small Batch. So, without any further ado, let's try some of these Michter's products, go over some flavor profiles, and. You know, get a little buzz here before the storm starts coming in. As you saw with my intro video, the first bands of this storm are actually rolling in right now as we speak. So uh, let the fun begin. And hey, remember this. When it comes to hurricanes here in Florida, they're usually a lot of fun. <laughs> coming from a sicko, I guess. I'm a weather freak. I love weather. I love watching the lightning. I love watching all and anything that has to do with the weather. Ask all my friends. They usually come to me and ask me weather advice. Uh, but why not tie in some weather to my bourbon channel here? All right. Let's see how this tastes. So fast, before we get into the meat and bones of this video, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching my content. Also, I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please help a small guy out. Like and subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow. It's because of viewership and people like you that I'm able to continue to provide content like this. Um, this is a hobby of mine and I have a lot of pleasure and I really enjoy shooting these videos. So continue with your support, leave your comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And just like that, the rain comes in and it is coming in hard. Now in the comments, let me know which bottle of Michter's is your favorite pour. 
as I've just said, this is the only one I've had, which is a small batch, but I'm really excited to see the other tasting notes and the other flavors of the other three Michter's products. Now, these are the ones that you can literally get on the shelf at any liquor store. They're kind of more like a budget bourbon. They go about $45 to $50, maybe even $55 if they're on the higher end, a bottle. So without any further ado, I can't wait to share with you my own personal experiences with these other Michter's products. As you know, this is going to be my favorite one so far. Let's see if the other three are just as impressive as the small batch. As the rain comes down outside, I've let these breathe a little bit. And uh, a lot of the notes I'm smelling from these, they, they smell very similar. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the small batch. With the small batch, ooh, that's delicious. It's, you know, you're getting cherry, some butterscotch, big crack of thunder. You get some vanilla and caramel in there. Ooh. This small batch, like I said, this is delicious. And that's just on the nose. On the palate, you're still getting that cherry and caramel and vanilla on there. And then on the finish, it just continues. That's delicious. You know, for $45 to $55, this small batch bourbon from Michter's is delicious. Phenomenal. Extremely smooth. Um, the proof point on these are coming in at, um, oh boy, I got to find it. 45.7% uh, proof or uh, percent of alcohol. So, you know, that, that's not a weak bourbon, but... It is very, very smooth. I'm going to tell you that. This small batch is delicious. Now, let's go to the straight rye. The straight rye, uh, you, you can smell a little bit of a difference in there. I'm getting cherry. I'm getting some butterscotch. Maybe a little vanilla. Maybe a little bit of caramel in there. If this tastes the way it smells, this is going to be a really nice treat. I am. Uh, I do enjoy rice. So, wow! You can taste that little bit of spiciness that comes from the rye. You can taste the cherry. Once again, this is a very tame bourbon. It's not very high in proof, and it goes down super smooth. I've had some ryes, like Parker Heritage rye, where it really drinks its proof, and the spiciness of the rye really comes out. I'm definitely picking up caramel on the finish, and I'm definitely picking up vanilla on the finish, and butterscotch. Not so much the cherry, which I initially was smelling on the nose, but uh, I'm also very, very impressed with this straight rye. Once again, these are just $45 to $55 a bottle. Amazing choices. And I'm very, excuse me, impressed with what these are having to offer. Oh, delicious. Just the nose alone is amazing. And then when you actually take a sip, it is so, so delicious, it's not even funny. Next one is going to be the American Whiskey. You know, all these have, you know, notes of cherry in the nose, even the rye. I'm getting butterscotch out of the American and vanilla and also caramel. Now, the question is, how will it taste when it goes down? You know, the heck with a spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. 
A spoonful of bourbon will make the medicine go down, make the medicine go down, make the medicine go down. Oh, just amazing. Completely different taste than the other two. That cherry is still prevalent there. I want to say the butterscotch is a little more prevalent there. You have the vanilla and the caramel in there. But I'm not picking up a lot of the cherry on my palate. The finish is also not as strong and long-lasting as the rye or the small batch. And this is also going to be probably right in that 45%. Uh, this is 41.7% alcohol, so 83.4 proof. It drinks its proof, that's for sure. It drinks very low. This will go down super duper fast. Oh, that's amazing. The, the smells of these Mictors products, phenomenal. And, you know, during a hurricane or tropical storm, having a couple of glasses of any of these so far would be a treat. And like I said, it doesn't break the piggy bank. Oh, amazing. I don't know what kind of barrel this is finished in. But I do pick up some hints of some tannins on the finish. It's not oaky. But like I said, the finish, it, it doesn't last as long as the other two. But this is phenomenal. The last one is going to be the Sour Mash. Now, the Sour Mash was the one that I actually had to get special delivered to me. Uh, ABC Liquors in Claremont did me a great favor, and they didn't have it in stock. And uh, they weren't getting it in, so they actually had it shipped in from another ABC Liquors. So I want to thank the crew at ABC Liquors in Claremont. I want to thank James... Danielle and Andrew, these three people are always amazing when it comes to customer service. They always help me out and they always provide a service to me that I have not been able to get in other liquor stores. They're inquisitive, they're smart, and they're interactive. And when you go into these ABC liquor stores, these uh, employees are usually on point. They ask you exactly what you're looking for. They have a thorough knowledge of all the products in their store. And uh, I'm very grateful to be able to have an ABC Liquors here in Claremont with uh, types of employees like James, like Danielle, and like Andrew. Thank you guys. Thank you for making this possible. But let's get into this sour mash, small batch. Now the cherry, there's Definitely big hints of cherry on the nose. And the cherry smell is a little more prevalent with this sour mash. You got butterscotch and vanilla. Some caramel. Very sweet smelling. Almost smells like a dessert in a glass. All these are very, very sweet bourbons. And I love the tasting notes on these bourbons. They're delicious. So with the sour mash, I'm picking up, I, I, it tastes like oak, a lot of oakiness. And the tannins follow through to the, the, the finish. The butterscotch, vanilla, and caramel are a lot more prevalent in the sour mash. The cherry isn't poking through as much as uh, the other ones. The other ones, the cherry followed through the whole experience from the nose to the palate to the finish. Here, the cherry is just prevalent on the nose, and I'm just not picking it up as I taste it. And also on the finish, I continue to have that caramel and vanilla on the finish. And like I said, it feels like there's a little bit of oakiness there on the finish and the tannins just follow through. So I'm going to be honest with you. Now that I've tasted all four of these, I think I still like this small batch, but this rye came out and, and wooed and wowed me. 
The American whiskey is delicious, but I feel like it could be missing something. Uh, it's, it's very delicious, but at the same time, you know, I do enjoy it a lot, but I just, I feel like there might be something lacking. And then the sour mash is also very delicious. I like how it has the wood finish at the end. The other ones, I really didn't pick up that wood finish on the end. I want to thank you for tuning in. This is going to be my hurricane special. Hopefully Florida doesn't get hit too hard. But everybody, enjoy your pours and enjoy your weekend. Forget about it. Take it easy.